Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we talk about how to measure SQI values for automotive Ethernet buses. Now this is particularly important if you are interested in interoperability measurements and so forth for these Ethernet frames and so on and for this I have from Technica Engineering uh, Danielle. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, and yeah, um, for this, um, we, we're starting to see how we can use um, a, a some of the devices that you have to do these measurements. Daniel, please, could you introduce yourself and explain what you have with you? Hello, everyone. So my name is Daniel Popalsai, and I am the technical sales engineer for Technica Engineering. Over here today, I have brought two of the many devices of our Technica Engineering product portfolio. On left hand side, I have our 1000 base T1 media converter. And on the right hand side, I have 1000 base T1 media converter for EMC environment. The goal is to establish a 1000 base T1 link so that both link partners acting as DUTs have a common link. And then we can tap into that link to see, to read their SQI values, to see when is there a link down or a link up event. Mm -hmm. Perfect, yeah. So. Um, just to maybe explain the setup that we have here as well. So we have the, the two Technica devices that we have. And in between, we have uh, our uh, RTZF7 uh, interfaces and so on. Uh, these boards help us to tap the, the link up so that we can then inject noise or look at what the frames are doing and so on. Now for SQI measurements, it's important to have uh, a noise generator. So for this, we have the uh, SMW uh, generator that allows us to generate, uh, according to the spec, about 550 megahertz of noise. So here we can see we're injecting about 650 megahertz. And then the SMW helps us to route this to uh, I and Q signals to the back of the instrument. And then here we can then take that differential pair and put it back into our, our link. And the SMW allows us to change the levels as well. Now to monitor this, just so that we know what we're injecting, uh, I've also used a oscilloscope to actually see um, both the time and the frequency domain. So here I've taken one of those I um, signals and injected that into the scope on channel one. And then we can see it's about 550 megahertz that we're injecting. And as I change the, uh, the level of the signal, then we can then see how uh, how much we are injecting into into our system, uh, and so on. So let me just go back into auto trigger. So now you can then see the levels being changed and so forth. Once we've done this, we can then take this over to our setup that the link that we have. And in in here again, as I uh, briefly mentioned, we have our ZF7 that allows us to see both the, the forward and the reverse uh, directions. So here on, on one side, we're injecting noise. And on the other side, we're taking this off into our oscilloscope to see and monitor the frames that are going backwards and forwards. And on either side of the ZF7, we also have the ZF7As that allows us to nicely tap onto those SMAs and to the uh, automotive ethernet connectors that we have soldered onto the boards themselves. And before we start to inject noise and, and start breaking the link, Danielle, could you explain how we can do this? How, how can we measure the, the, the parameters that we want to see? Yeah, so link can also be monitored uh, using the, the, the EMC device over here. What's happening over here is the, the signal that we receive is decoupled into a TX and an RX signal. And this TX and RX signal going through the optical interface to the optical to USB converter is converting the signal into a USB environment. This USB can be connected to any laptop or any interface that supports serial interface so that you can read these values. So what's happening is, once you receive this signal, the signal going through the optical interface convert, being converted to the USB interface, and then the USB is read through the serial interface on your laptop. So you can use any, you, uh, any program that, you, that can help you to read these serial signals, for example, a Terra term. And using the Terra term, you can read these signals and see what was the SQI value? Was there a link up or a link down? If there was a link down, when did it happen? If there was a link up, 
what was the SQI value for that particular linkup. So this kind of information can be extracted from this communication using this, this kind of setup over here. Ah, I see. So this is what I see in the, the, the Termin interface that I can see the link up and the, uh, how this is established and read the SQI value. Exactly. So not only you see there's a link up, but you also see what was the possible signal integrity value over here, what, what happened. And then if now when we, are, we will be injecting noise, there will be a point where there will be no link anymore. And monitoring this or the serial interface tells you, okay, now you don't have a link anymore. So the link has been, there's a link down event. Mm -hmm. So this is how you can monitor on, on this side of the communication. So you can do it, you are doing it on the RTO side as well as on the EMC side as well. Excellent. So now uh, let's try and see if we can break this link. All right. So here um, we, we have the levels that we can change. And now we've directly injecting this into our link and then also monitoring that on our RTO 6 oscilloscope. So here we can see that uh, steady communication of, you know, idle frames and so on on the Ethernet bus that we have. We can also see the spectrum nice and easily all the way up to, to one gig. And now we can uh, start to change the level on our SMW signal and, and we start to maybe see uh, perhaps on the, the Termin interface, the SQI value starting to drop. Um, Daniel, can you tell me how, what does it start off with? So the SQI value, basically the maximum value that you can start with is 15. So once you will start injecting noise, you will notice on the terminal interface that the, the SQI value is starting to decrease from 15 until the point where there's no link anymore and then we'll have an SQI value of zero. Mm -hmm. Understood, yeah. So. Let's try and do that. So if we keep pushing the level up, we start to see that now the, the SQI level is, is starting to really drop a lot. And then at a certain point in time, we, we then push it so much noise into the system that we start to see that the link is, is broken, uh, in fact. Yes, so now on the terminal interface, you will monitor that uh, along with the information of what device was used and was there a link or not, so you will see there's a link down event and the SQI value is zero. So you don't have a link anymore. So that, then that, that means that you have so much noise on the link now that the link is trying to get established, but it's not being successful anymore. Understood. Yeah, perfect. So uh, now that we've broken the link, uh, we can see this on the Technica devices itself. There's a little LED that tells us that this link is down and we can't see this. We can measure this on the Termin device as well. But we also see this on the scope as well. So electrically, we can see this that, you know, the, the frames are, are, are sort of broken at certain points where there's no communication. And nicely on the scope, we can then set up a trigger to isolate this particular event when that link has been broken. So you see here, we can trigger on a point in time where the link has gone down and then we can still see that the device is still trying to communicate to try and establish a link, uh, if you may. Uh, and this is great for debugging and so on and things where you can try and isolate uh, where exactly, how the frames look like, look at the training sequences and see, uh, you know, how to better establish a link. Daniel, thank you so much for, for the setup that we have here and explaining how easy it is to set this up and, and monitor the SQI. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So guys, I hope this has helped into understanding uh, how to measure SQI, how simple it is to set this up, how to inject noise into the system and to monitor this and, and verify that your devices are meant to be working the right way possible. Thanks a lot.